Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 16 of Book 6. Now, in this proposition, Euclid used the terms extremes and means when referring to an equation that defines proportional. So, here we have that AB to CD is equal to E to F. And the extremes of this relationship are the a, b, and f, and the means are the inner parts c, d, and e. So that's what, that is what is meant by extremes and means. So this proposition states that if we have a, b to c, d equal to e to f, if we construct a rectangle using a, b, and f, and we construct a rectangle using E and CD, that the area of these two rectangles will be equal. So if this length is F and this length is E, then the area of these two rectangles will be equal. Inversely, if we have two rectangles that are equal in area, then AB to CD will be equal to E to F. So let's begin the proof. We're going to start off with the relationship that AB is to CD as E is to F. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to construct a line AG that is equal to F that is perpendicular to AB we are going to construct a second line, CH, that is equal to E, that is perpendicular to CD. And then we are going to finish these rectangles. So now we have two rectangular rectangles, BG and DH. Now, since E is equal to CH and F is equal to AG, we have that AB to CD is equal to CH to AG. So we're basically substituting this relationship into that part of this equation and rewriting the equation. Now we have two rectangles, which are parallelograms, which are also equal angular. And the area or the sides about these two rectangles are reciprocally proportional. In other words, AB is to CD as CH is to AG. And if the sides are reciprocally proportional, then the areas are equal. So in other words, the area BG is equal to the rectangle DH. And since BG is equal to DH and BG is equal to AB times F, again, because AG is equal to F, and dh is equal to cd times e, again, because e is equal to ch. So we have bg is equal to dh, which means that these two relationships also hold true. Thus, ab times f is equal to cd times e. Or in other words, just to restate it, we started with having four lines that were proportional, and we constructed a rectangle out of the extremes, which is A, B, and F. We've constructed a rectangle out of the means, which is C, D, and E. And the area of those two rectangles, which is represented here, are equal. That's the first part of the proof. Let's go on to the second part. Again, in this case, we are starting with the area of a rectangle formed by A, B, and F is equal to the area of a rectangle formed by C, D, and E. We do the same construction as we did for part one, such that A, G is equal to F and C, H is equal to E. Now, since F is equal to A, G, then the area B, G will be equal to A, B times F, and the area D, H will be equal to C, D times E. Thus, BG is equal to DH. And when you have any two rectangles, 
that are equal and equal angular, then the sides about these rectangles will be reciprocally proportional. In other words, AB to CD will equal CH to AG, which is stated right here. But again, CD, no, nope, sorry, CH is equal to E and AG is equal to F. So just substitute those in there. And we have that AB to CD is equal to E to F. So to restate this again, we have two rectangles formed by AB and F, CD and E. And if this, if we're starting with this condition, then the ratio of AB to CD will be equal to the ratio of E to F. And that's it for this proposition.